nose faces the rear. So working back from the rear of the car to the front of the car, this is about ten and a half feet from here to what will be a transfer case up over the front cross member. That requires a two-piece drive shaft. You don't want a drive shaft longer than five feet. Four inch diameter, series 1350 or 1480, monster U-joints, uh, steel drive shafts. And then uh, they'll be joined uh, in the middle, the uh, two-piece drive shaft will meet about here. Then just forward of that, we see the fuel tanks mocked up in foam, about 35 or 6 gallons between the two of them, be cut out to provide access to the transmission pan. This is a mock-up, this is just the case of a 4L80E transmission, probably won't use this identical one, but more likely a power glide, beef power glide, which I have, and therefore it's less expensive. So, uh, and from this point, uh, the uh, drive shaft will go into a, a transfer case that basically takes the power from the engines and runs them back this way. So we have an upper drive shaft, a transfer case, two lower drive shafts, several U-joints. And then up front, <coughs> we have uh, Scott's Hot Rods, um, show quality, it will look at when we get done. Um, coil over, what's called coil over, meaning a coil around a shock absorber. Independent A arm tubular chromed front suspension. Um, mostly stainless steel here, but chromed, I think. And, uh, you know, probably three, four inches of travel, not huge, but, but you know, a comfortable ride. Uh, and then a power rack and pinion steering here. And uh, from up above, with the hood assembly open and from in the car, you can see the circuitous route one must take to get this steering arm up to a steering wheel inside. Four U-joints and several supports and all that.